think that's enough for introduction. Isn't it? You know, when you, people are growing old, they tell very many stories. And, uh, and God has given me that capacity because he, he gave me the capacity to, to write 10 books in three years and, launch, and release them. That was a strange thing. You know, God enabling you to write three, no, 10 books in three years and release them into the market, it's not a joke. But then the same God is enabling me to write another book in one and a half years. Just one book. <laughs> you know, God is joking because 10 books, three years. One book, one and a half years. No, but that is God. Let's go to our scripture, Genesis, Genesis chapter 4. We'll do 1 up to 9. I will be reading from New King James Version. Uh, New King James Version. So, uh, and therefore, I read. Now Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain. And said, I've acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep. We want us, I want us to underline that. A keeper of the sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. So Abel was a keeper of sheep. And Cain was a tiller of the ground. You know, this is one family, and God has already given each of them a line. Each of them a line. And I'm here to tell you, you have each a, a line. If we look at the pastors we have in, 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 in DCIKZ, including the, the, the worship center, there could be a number. And we'll just call them pastors, okay? But I want to assure you that each of them has a, a line. Even if they are called pastors, but each of them has a line. Each of them has a strength. But at times we forget, and we only see pastor. Now, that, that the problems we are going to deal with is when people forget. To do their lines or to do their strengths, and they start looking at what another one is. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Gain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but did not show respect. He did not show, he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry. Hey, I want us to underline that. Cain was very angry. The tiller of the ground was very angry because he had not been respected. Neither was his offering respected. And his continence Fell. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why has your continence fallen? If you do well, let's underline that and let's say it. If you do well, says, let's say all together, if you do well, if you do well, if I do well, uh huh. Will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. I want us to online, sin lies at the door. And this desire is for you, but you should rule over it. Now Cain talked with his Abel, with Abel, his brother. I want us to online that one. You know, talked is not the, 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 what we are seeing. It's, it's like they took a walk. And they were talking like um, children from the same womb or the same stomach, okay, of the same seed. So they went walking. Uh, I believe uh, if it was here, 
I remember when we used to stay in Zimmerman, I, you could walk to the drive 45, 44, and, and, and that. So, the, 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 that, so that's what you should see. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Now that is now, of course, that's where the biggest message is, but we are also underlying it. Yani, watu wamezaliwa kwa tumbo moja, na ni wawili tu, na unawujua shamba yote ilikuwa tu ya mutu moja. So there was no way that huyu ametapata eka mingi kuliko huyu. The whole earth was theirs. Two! Lakini mmoja haka uwa mwingi. And the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And that brings us to the end of that. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name we say thank you. Thank you for this opportunity that we can share as men. Holy Spirit, breathe through me to us, for it is in Jesus' name I pray. Five things pop out of the whole of chapter 4 of Genesis, the story of Cain and Abel. Five things. Number one, we are an angry and bitter society. We are what? An angry and bitter society. And that's where men are. I want to know if it has sunk. <laughs> that's why I'm looking around. We are what? An, an angry and a bitter society. Two, we are a lying society. A lying society. A cheating society. Three, we are a blood letting society. Yani sisi ni watu wenye tunapenda kumwaga damu. You know, even a pee now may just drop. <laughs> that we are what? A blood letting society. For our land is defiled and unproductive. So, like in this case, Cain, who was a tiller, the tilling became defiled and it was unproductive. If it had ended there, I would not have come here. Uh, now, I want to bring you another one that comes out. The good news is that we have a second opportunity to redeem ourselves. We have a second opportunity to redeem ourselves, and I'm talking to, to men, including myself. That we are an angry and bitter society. We are a lying society. We are a... A, eh? a blood-dating society. We are... Which one again? Our land is defiled and unproductive, but the good news, we have an opportunity to redeem ourselves. So men have an opportunity to redeem themselves so that they can be their brother's keeper. This gives credibility to the theme Ridicking and repossessing the wills of our fathers. See, what was the deliverance to Najwa Sana? Ridicking and repossessing the wills of our, our fathers. The fifth point gives us this. And it also gives credibility to the topic being my brother's keeper. 
the, when we check the word brother in a limited way, like me, I would say, I will, you know, you are you only limit yourself to those who came from the same stomach or from the same womb. And uh, that's how they will call it is by blood or by blood. So a relative or a kin by blood, that is a brother. And it, whether it's a, a, a woman like, uh, like, like Mary, a brother, okay? In the eyes of God, okay? But when you look at Galatians 3, 26 to 29, we get the wider application of the word. Galatians 3, 26 to 29, it says, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. The next line I would want us to underline. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So that has made us all brothers. Okay? She, she doesn't mean king Yahugu, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers. So you also see me as you are your brother. Some of you see me like a, an elder brother. And some of you, for sure, you are sons of our, of, of our nations. But, but still, you see me as you are your brother. So we become brothers. Even when, even when it comes to Muslims, they are also under the blood of Jesus. Okay? They are our brothers. The Asians, our brothers. Everyone. White, red, blue, short, white, fat. All are our brothers. The word keeper. Is simply a caregiver. A caregiver. That's a keeper. So you care for. Once the fellow you care for, that is your brother. Of course, we first find the first use of the, 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 the word keeper in Genesis 2.15, in which we read that the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and to keep it. So, Adam was put in the, in the garden for purposes of tending it, for purposes of keeping it. So from there you realize that tending or keeping is a, a, God, it's a godly responsibility. So that giving of care, because Adam was to give care of, to the garden, and that is, that is um, uh, a God a godly thing. But when you look at Luke 19, 11 to 27, this is the parable of the minas. We get the time limit for a keeper. 12, 12 verses 12 and 13 says, He said, therefore, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. And said unto them, Occupy until I come. So I want us to pick that one issue of occupy till I come. It means you give care until Christ comes for you or for me. So, so it's like we give care until we die. Are we, are we there? Until we die. When you look at the topic we have before us, being my brother's keeper, is angered on two where questions. Two where. So the question would be where? 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 Because, of course, we read, we read, we read the one there. So the first question we find in the Genesis 3.9. Genesis 3.9. Genesis 3.9, the, 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 the question there is, where are you? That is, that, that is the question. You can see it on our, on our screens, I believe. Yeah. So that's the first question. It's uh, the, 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 being my brother's keeper is angered on this question. 
or its foundation is this question. Where are you? And then the one we read, the, the, the Genesis 4.9, is where is Abel your brother? It's like these two things go together. You cannot pretend to be doing well on any one of the questions. They all move together. Uh, as, uh, uh, C.O.K. brethren, you realize here things go by time. Like I have 28 point something minutes to deliver my message. You can see how generous C.O.K. is on the other side. We just preach and the, the, the message is over. <laughs> okay, now we go on. So we have where are you and where is Abel, your brother, or where is your brother? These are relational questions. Relational questions. They are accountability questions. The first, where are you, speaks to your relationship with God. So you can call that vertical relationship. Where are you? The second one, where is Abel, your brother, or where is your brother, speaks to you the relationships horizontally. So we are talking of horizontal relationship. Horizontal, in fact, not relationship, relationships. So that when we are looking at the Ten Commandments as it were, from Exodus 21 to 17, of course we'll not go there media, then when we look at how Christ summarized the, the two, the Ten Commandments into two, from Matthew 22, 30 to 40, we read this. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, then one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him and saying, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So, where are you is the issue of loving the Lord with all your heart the way you read. Where is your brother is the question of you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. But within there is shall. It's not will. Those who, those who did law here will tell you. If you talk of shall, it's mandatory. It's not a question of what you pomperezu. At the old fanya ye. Come as we saw a total on a Namianga to fanya ye. A kid when you were growing up, okay, I'm pure fanya. Even before fanya, Kiboko can afford her. But now you, you are. You are at different times. If you beat one now, it can be a problem. <laughs> so, so the two of them go together. And that's why when you are reading, when we read 1 John 4.20 to 21, 1 John 4.20 to 21. Sorry, uh, 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 media, I must be moving very fast because I must deliver this message within this time. 1 John 4.20 to 21 says, If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment, and this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. I mean, how many of us love God? I want to see by show of hands. Please, men, just be nice. Yeah. So we all love God. So the next thing, love your brother. No, not, not even love. You must love your brother also. Let's look at we are an angry and a, 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 a bitter society. Of course, without going back to what we read, Cain was angry. And bitter with God. Sindio. He was very angry and bitter. Why? Because he was not respected. Neither his offering wasn't 
uh, it was also not respected. So the question is, men, are you also angry and bitter with God? Men, are we there? You know, you go through issues, issues that make us what become what? Angry and bitter with God. Because you probably you went fasting. You went doing what? And you knew God would do it. And he never did it. So you got angry and bitter with God. For those who are married, are you bitter? Are you angry and bitter you with, the, with, with your wives? Now we have come from God. We, have, we are now going to is our spouses. Are you bitter with your wife? Are you angry with your wife? Are you also angry and bitter with your children? You know, some of them when I end up back on uh, they are just always on their phones. Yeah. When they go, when they are above 20, you don't even see them in the sitting room. When they go to the room, in bedroom, <laughs> what happened? You get angry. Are you angry and bitter with your children? Are you angry and bitter with your parents? You know, some parents can also be very demanding. It's like they don't know you have grown up, by the way. Even when you are as old as myself, my mother or my father, when they look at me, they imagine, I'm a German daughter. Even my mother, when I go home and she has made food, she wants to store, to stand there to say, then I'm wondering, this lady have only come today in her house. Why is she telling me that she That annoys me, you know. I get angry. <laughs> eh? that, <laughs> are you also bitter? You know, some of us are angry and bitter with our in-laws. You know, some of them even they want to ask you for dowry. Eh? Now we huna pesa na una uri oda shanga the cost of living has gone up this person when you are in mahari tena they want you to pay you know, they they they, they mahari you see <laughs> then you get bitter you get angry and bitter with them some of live around now that some of us are bitter bitter with our people we've employed be they servants or, or, or maids we are bitter i remember one of them he who was working for us, took away our property worth over 200,000. Was I justified to be bitter and angry? I want to hear. <laughs> Some of us are bitter and angry with our neighbors. I'm talking to men. We are bitter and angry with our our neighbors. Some of us, watch in Yongei Propole, some of us are bitter and angry with our pastors. I don't seem to see some of them here. We are a bit we are bitter and angry with our. You don't seem to uh, you look like I'm talking to angels. Why did you bring me to why did you bring me here to talk to the angels? <laughs> we are bitter and angry with our what? Our pastors. We are also bitter and angry with our bosses. Or our, our partners. Probably they made us go into losses. Or they didn't increase the salary. Or they felt like you should be demoted. The salary went down. Some of us, we are leaders, and we are angry and bitter with our followers. Men. And now, as we come to eat, some of us are bitter and angry with ourselves. And me, me, I'm bitter and angry with my, myself. That's a, that's a me, me. Have you, have you ever reached a point where you just feel like, uh, why did I do this? Then you keep blaming yourself, blaming yourself until you... Huh? And then, some of us, therefore, essentially we are... Uh, Angry and bitter with anything and everything. Remember we said we are in a, a, an angry and bitter society. Ukiangalia 
politically now let me talk politically because men like men like politics. If you look at Asimio, they are angry and bitter. Now let me come home. If you look at Kenya Kwanza, they are angry and bitter. Who is not angry and bitter? <laughs> and you all belong to Asimio, you all belong to Kenya Kwanza here. So I'm sure if we divided, you can just follow this way and so we are angry and bitter. <laughs> The worst thing, the anger and the bitterness can be seen on you, our faces. That's why they said, the, like, 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 your countenance has fallen, because it can be seen. You know, you mutu mwenye anamachungu, anasira. Mwishia ikuona mutu mwenye anasira. Hata sura ina patrika, hakai the fearfully and wonderfully made. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the Psalms uh, 139. And a kanga... And Musumutu Sura Yakasi. Have we have we ever seen somebody like that? Sura Yakasi. I talk him one on a Toroka one. When I shanga we do what what shall we do? They can swallow you alive. And that's why God says that what we read that sin is at the door. Meaning to kiendra kwa sira na uchungu wa moyo. Eh? The sin is at the door. At the door. But God's desire is for us to master over that sin. I liked, I liked this guy. I like this guy from uh, Rift Valley. At usiweke kitu kwa roho. Weka kitu kwa mapua. Ukikoko poof. Yeah? So hasira na anger. Tuisiweke kwa roho. Kwa roho. Tuweke kwa mapua. Tukikoko poof. Yeah? That's uh, it's politics. This guy is, is, is very intelligent. When you read Ephesians 4, 26 to 27, it says, Ephesians 4, 6 to 27, it says, be angry. Yani, it's like, ata bibiria mungu anagubali ya kwamba, be angry, because it's an emotion. I'm telling you, there are wives who will, be, who will feel very nice when they see you ang angry. Akini, when you smile from January to January, some of them what a changa now I'm living with you. You know, you know, you know of course Nani is out, the house is not listening. But there are some when attack of fire sura yaka. So there is there is a lion in the house. Sijasema ukasiriko ulime ngumi, sijasema hiyo. But ukase uso waone huyu hapa kwa nyumba mambo ni ma ni mabaya. Lakini lakini utulie tu. Na utakute, ona, 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 anakucha pole pole. Pengine kama unapenda chai kama mimi, ananiletea kipulisi kunyo sam chai. Because unachua kunyo chai pia asire naisha. Ya yeah, yeah, we. <laughs> Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your earth or give place to the devil. But Cain allowed the anger and bitterness to go down, to to to. To, to get hold of him, or the better part of him, to a level where he murdered his brother. So in murdering his brother, he therefore did not love God with all his heart, with all his soul, with all whatever. He also did not love his brother, now his neighbor, he did not love him as he loved himself. We are a lying society. Ukita kujua, we are a lying society. Sikisa tu watu wakiongea kwa mobile phone. Anakuambia, ako Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Na anaambia mutu, niko river road. But no, of course, we unaona tu. That is society now, that is society. So, ukiwa river road, we seme uko river road. Why are we saying we are a lying society? In the midst of Shakahola instances, and Shakahola don't limit Shakahola to the Kilivi one. I know also there must be Shakaholas in Bungoma where my parents stay. Because that's where I had Nabi, Nabi is you, Nabi Yohan or Nabi who? Exactly, and even Yesu Tongare. They come from Bungoma County where my father is. Those are the Shakaholas. 
So even the Chakaholas are in your village. Because Kenya, we know, all these Kenyans, we know. So in these Chakahola instances, we still say, I do not know. The same way, Nani, on a Juanani, I'll chukwamu, I'll chukwamu is a Katembea. No, we are the Uso, and the same I don't know. Oh, Nafira, Kain, how Guanajua? See, I'll Guanajua. So in the midst of the Chakaholas, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brothers? We ask that question. In the midst of pantry instances, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In the midst of increasing numbers of women headed households, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In the midst of outright tribalism, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In the midst of increasing divorce cases, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In the midst of increasing domestic and gender-based violence, violences, violence cases, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? I think this one, you like it. In the midst of increasing cost of living, he was walking that talk. In the midst of the cost or increasing cost of living, we still say, we do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In the midst of increasing levels of corruption, okay, we still say, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In saying, I do not know as Cain did, the truth is not in us. When we say we do not know, the truth is not in us. When we say, we ask, am I my brother's keeper? Then we, we, or the truth is not in us. We are a blood-letting society. Of course, I said Cain murdered his uh, brother. We have also murdered our brothers physically. What? Shakahola wa mekufu wangabi? Sasa? Three? I'm um, figure 300 or something. So you can imagine how many could have died in Bungoma and nobody uh, uh, got them. So we have murdered physically, we have murdered spiritually, we have murdered economically or financially, we have murdered psychologically, emotionally. And that's why God is asking, where are our brothers? Of course, if one was to read down there, I will only pick one scripture. Uh, for, uh, that I will read that communicates what I want to say. Leviticus 18, 24 to 25 says, Leviticus 18 to 20, 24, 25 says, Do not defile yourselves with any of these things. For by all these the nations are defiled, which I am casting out before you. For the land is defiled. Therefore I will visit the punishment of its iniquity upon it. And the land vomits its inhabitants. What we are being told is like, when we sin, we defy the land. And when the land is defiled, it vomits its inhabitants. The same way the land vomited Cain, of course God intervened. And that's why I'm, I'm here. Then the second opportunity to redeem ourselves. God, if one was to look at the first letter, the first of the seven letters to church, God is saying that we have left our first love. Our first love. The love for God and for our brothers. But that same God is telling us in the same scripture, Genesis, I think Revelation verse, chapter 2, verse one, 1 up to 7, that we return to him and we return in repentance. So that we repent of our anger, jealousy, bitterness, and shedding of innocent blood. And that we do the first works. That's, that's what we will be f uh, finishing with. That we do. So we return to our first love and do uh, our first works. Isaac who was headed to Egypt when he was told stop. 
he stopped and remained in Gerar for some period before he moved on to be a Sheba where God wanted him to be. God never wanted Isaac to be in Gerar. God wanted Isaac to be in Beersheba. The moment he arrived in Beersheba, he raised an altar. He pitched a tent and he dug a well. Those three acts speak to the love for God. Raising the altar, uh, 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 raising the tent, because now as a priest he must be close to the, to the altar to keep the fire burning, and then the, uh, digging the, 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 uh, the, the well, which he called Sheba, and Sheba means seven, and this comes from uh, 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 during his brother's time, Genesis twenty, Genesis chapter twenty, yes. So, so, so when he came up with Sheba, it was to sustain himself in the land. So the, all these activities speak to the love for God. But then the people who had been chasing him, you know, at one time, Abimelech was not uh, for him. And his agents, including the herders, were not for him. They, were, they kept on chasing him. And do you know what it was God making, him, making them to chase him so that he goes to the right place? So some of you, God will chase you and you go to the right what? Place. God, God was using uh, <laughs> King Abimelech, the herders, to chase him away from Gerar, from Rehoboth, and he arrives at where? Beersheba. This man who has been chasing him now chased after Isaac. If he had not repented, the issue of anger, the issue of bitterness, what do you think? I'm going to Mimi. The Bukusu, who I am. Okay? Who is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who is Friend. Huh? Eh? Mutu kiboko. <laughs> ya mutu. <laughs> but this man, because now he had moved away from the level of anger, from the level of bitterness, he accepted King Abimelech. And the acceptance was he even slept there. He even made a party for for him there, over the night, where the whole night. Are you seeing? So I'm trying to imagine, like, if I was angry and bitter with my wife, today I would have a party with her the whole night. Are we, are we, are we there? Just, I want you to, to get that, those, those, those connections. Because this man was so bitter. He had, was all the time being chased away. But now this man comes. And then the following day, they enter into a peace covenant. Three things. Welcoming him for an, over, an, over, an overnight stay, a celebration or a visit where they ate and drank, and then a peace covenant. Now this one speaks to the love for your neighbor. To the love of your neighbor or his neighbor. Like a father, like son. We are sons of Abraham by faith. From Matthew 25, 31 to 40, this is a story I have read it many times, but last time I read, I really thought about Dr. Dan. I said, hey, this Dan is a, is, is a blessed man. When I read, I've been reading the Bible. You read, but no other times you read and you know, Peter took him a storybook. 
You know, in this story, God is, Jesus Christ is giving the issue of the righteous and the unrighteous. How would they be identified? Then he enumerates five things. And that is what men we should do. One, that our brothers are the hungry people. Our brothers are, our brothers are what? The hungry people. What when you want to so, kisikia njaa, njaa hiko lodwa. Ujue, our brothers are what? Hungry. Njaa hiko India, our brothers are what? Hungry. Njaa hiko taki because kuna earthquake, our brothers are what? Hungry. Then, two, our brothers are the thirsty people. Watu wenye wanaitaji maji. Unachua sasa tukianza kusema, when you talk of food, you should see also food in the spiritual sense. So when we talk of people are thirsty, see also the spiritual water. Okay? So, so we are saying that our brothers are the thirsty people. That's why people from all over, you find them singing boreholes in when I was a DD Jakes and a borehole in Masai land. Why? He's dealing with his brothers who are what? Thirsty. Then, our brothers are the strangers. Not just this, ukiona mutu mwenye akai kama your brother, but today we have said all, all people are our brothers. Eh? So, ato ukiona a Chinese yapa inja akitembea, usione ni kama, that is your brother. So, strangers are our brothers. Our brothers are the naked people. Watu wenye wanaitaji, maitaji ya nguo. So, tumeona maitaji ya tumbo, Tumeona maitaji ya, ya kunywa, maitaji ya kuvaa, ma, 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 uh, 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 maitaji ya, 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 ya makazi. Yes, makazi. And our brothers are the sick people. And our brothers are those in prison. That's why I mentioned Dan. So Dan, God bless you. So when you hear Dan is going to prison ministry, he is going to visit who? Our brothers. When people are leaving here to go to Kiambu Hospital visitation, what, 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 they are visiting our brothers. So, being my brother's keeper means feeding the hungry people. Welcoming in my house strangers as Abraham did in Genesis chapter 18. Means giving drink to the thirsty. You know, I've had that once and I end up with a uji. So uji is food and is also what? Maji. And next time I'm drumming such that men now should do more of prison ministry. That's what I'm saying. Hospital visitation. I'm going to check on the sick. And you know, like the way we put on the screens, you are there. Even if, don't worry about the amount. We toa kama on the amount, toa. Ukiona nani anaenda anataka toilet paper, hata kama huna pesa kununua, toa leta toilet tissue kutoka kwa kata moja. Hiyo siku usiende na utumie wakasetu, whatever. Kama, if you are closer to grass, even as the way we grew up, you will go on the grass and unajisaidia. Are we getting but for the sake of our brother who is somewhere. So giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, the naked, the naked people, paying visits on sick people and on those in prison. When we do that, we are being our the keepers of our brothers. But kumbuka, inaanza na upendo. Pira upendo wezi. Yes. Pira upendo, oto ukienda huko, nani na prison, na onajua ya nakuja na nguwe meka, me, na saa zingine wewe si tumetoka hapa na dani na nimevaa sudi. Na unashiangaza huyu mjama. But then you realize those people have talents. They have what it takes. I've been there a few times. Dan, please, next time, Uzi, just allow me join you so that I can be my brother's keeper. So how many would want to be 
associated with going to hospital. Hospital now. I'm now recruiting. Yes, yes. How many will you want to be associated with going to prison? You are not a prisoner. You are going to prison to set the captives free. Yes. How many will want to associate themselves with clothing the naked? Hata kuna nguo zingine kwa madrawers. Kama mimi juzi, nilikuwa natafuta kijama. Hii nilikundua tukube hiko kwa hata sijawai tumia furong. So we are want to be associated with clothing the naked. How many will want to be associated with welcoming strangers? Strangers could be people who are coming for missions and you allow them into our homes. That could change us. Yes. How many would want to associate themselves with feeding the hungry? Ukisikia trukana wapi, 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 hata Nairobi hapa, I will do that. It's not the amount. Even if it's 50 shillings, hiyo ndiyo mungu hataona. Pengine mita toa 1 million na mungu haona. Kini wa kutoa 50? Nani mba watafanya hivyo? Then I see that we are walking the talk. Uh, we are walking the, the talk and that is redigging and repossessing the wells of our fathers. Men and the woman, you are blessed. Deliverance Church Kasarani, Zimmerman, you are blessed. Amen. You, everyone, even the media who, may, who have been following us, you, you are also blessed. Amen. Our bishop, wherever he is, Pastor Alice, the pastors, wherever they are, the leadership of us all, I speak the blessing of the Lord. Amen. I speak the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You are blessed.